What is up you guys? It is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand spanking new video. And I want to say I'm so sorry guys that I have not been able to upload. Oh my god, I'm lazy. Uh, I just got a job at Subway. You know, I've been working, trying to get my grades up. Grades are not that good right now. Grades are not that good right now, guys. Um, so guys, I just, I just want to say I'm so happy that Identity has finally taken this step in there in their new journey as a game development squad they are now tripling the amount of programmers that they have in the game and that is very important and that means that we will get to see the game a lot sooner than we would if they had like three or four developers like what they have had and they actually did move into the new dragon wave building well it's not new but it's new to them and dragon wave is basically kind of like a networking building and they sell like microwave packets i'm pretty sure that's what it's that's what they said and uh yeah this is gonna make it to where that they have one spot to put everything and it's gonna make it a lot easier to, to manage the network for identity and you know it's gonna make it easier for different programmers because they'll actually have an office to go work in each day and it's just gonna make everything a lot more organized so now i'm gonna talk about a couple different topics in this video if you've already heard everything from the uh the um you know the, the the developer square module thing whatever it's called if you've already heard everything like that then uh, just skip ahead a little bit and I'll start talking about the LGBT KKK thing and all that controversial stuff in the next part of the video but I do want to say guys we got some new screenshots we got some new concept art we got all these different things and we actually will be able to access the police department in the town square module and that makes that makes it to where we can you know go shoot guns in the firing range I think that's super cool and that's gonna be able to show us off a little bit of the mechanics and everything that go in to the gun play and guys I think that the police department is gonna look pretty cool and we'll be able to you know go in there and try different clothes on and I don't know if you actually have to be a police officer to go shoot the guns I wouldn't assume so if they're trying to show off the mechanics but you will be able to like sign in as a police officer if you are going to go into that job I mean that career and uh, you can kind of get a feel of what it's gonna be like whenever the game does come out and the swap module yeah, the swap module is going to be cool, guys. I think it's going to be uh, pretty pretty fun. And But I don't know, actually, if they're going to add the swap module and the town square together to where we can just blast people in the town square. Or if it's going to be like Star Citizen where there's three separate modules that you go in to play in the game. And, guys, listen. Here's this part of the video. It starts at 2.45. Um, I, I just read a post, right? I read a post on the forum. And somebody was asking if there would be controversial things like the uh, the KKK or, you know, like, I, I don't know what it really is politically correct to say on YouTube, but if, um, <laughs> see, I hate politically correct stuff. Like, I just hate it. It's so annoying. I just, I, I don't like it. Like, I'm not racist and I don't care if somebody's gay or I don't care if anybody's transsexual or anything like that. I just think that it gets super blown out of proportion. But, you know, this is not a politics channel. This is a gaming channel for YouTube. If you want to hear politics and other things that don't like have gaming in them, then you can go subscribe to Aus TV. That's my other personal channel. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this post. So this post, this this person from the quote unquote LGBTQ group. Um, I guess it's going. They're like gonna be the LGBTQ group in the uh, the game. Maybe they're like a political party. Who knows, guys. But I just think that it'll be complete cancer if the game gets run by these people. Complete cancer. Because everything's gonna have to be a safe space. There's not gonna be any real, like, you know, fun in the game, in my opinion. Because, uh, the fun for me is, like, whenever you're in the game and some random person just comes up to you and starts, like, talking about weird stuff or, you know... It just, I, I think that it'll take a lot from the game if there's a gonna, if they're gonna put a lot of restrictions and whatnot. And I do think that if, uh, I think that it would add a lot to the RP aspect. I'm definitely not like, I definitely would not want to be in this group. But if they did have a KKK or like, uh, people that were against transgenders or if they were against the LGBT group, I think that that would actually add a lot of depth to the game and that it would have you know somebody for the lgbtq group in the game or whatever else kind of group that you're in maybe the black lives matter group i don't know to actually go against them and like political debates debates and whatnot and i think that it would be a really really cool idea to add in the game 
And I definitely don't think that they should put a bunch of sanctions and like restrictions on these other groups because I think that RP just it requires like freedom, you know? Freedom is a big thing in games for me. I want to be able to do what I want, say what I want, but like to an extent, you know, there's not I don't want to just get blasted every time I walk out of the street. I want there to be safe zones where nobody can pull out their guns. And, uh, you know, I, there's going to be cops and whatnot, but I do want this to feel like a real living, breathing game. So, that being said, there needs to be real living, breathing people that have their own political uh, choices and their own political ideas about things. So, honestly, do what you will with what this video says. I think I'm done talking about that topic, and now I want to move into some new things. So, with Identity getting all these new developers, they're going to get a new community manager. So I don't know what happened to Motown, he's not on the Discord or anything anymore, so I don't know what happened to him, I think he still runs the Twitter and whatnot, but, you know, I feel like if we have a dedicated community manager to the game, then we will actually be able to get a lot more Q&As done, and as you can see, they have been doing their development streams weekly almost, like they've done like three already, and they where they did uh, concept art and they did 3d modeling and all these different stuff all this different stuff to uh, actually show us what they are doing for the game and honestly like they're artists they're gonna need a bunch of concept art and whatnot so if you're wondering why they're making concept art and all that it's it's honestly for advertisement that's they need to advertise what they want the game to look like before they can get the game to look like you know what it is I guess I don't know if that's an off-the-wall statement or not but uh <laughs> I just want to say that I'm going to be trying to push out videos. I know this is really late. It's been like 10 days since I made a video. I am so sorry, and um, I'll just try to make time for this. If you guys do want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and whatnot, I'm going to be putting that right here. And I love you guys, all of you, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please make, make sure to leave a like. I don't know if you want to subscribe, but I think it'll be pretty cool. Get a little subscribe train going on here. Love all you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.